Welcome. Welcome everyone. Welcome to Drupa. Welcome to HP Hall 17 and welcome to the HP Indigo V12 Digital Label Press. How many label converters do we have in the audience? How many people convert labels, print labels? Okay, that's great. What we are going to show you is new Indigo technology, the new LEPX technology, and some of the new consumables we have for it. So please stick around and check it out. So the Indigo V12 Digital Press is designed to print labels and flexible packaging. Our HP Indigo 6K Digital Press is perfect for short run, high value jobs. But the V12 Digital Press is set up for medium to run, long run lengths. So customers, label customers who want to convert labels of any run length with a combination of a 6K and a V12 can address any label run length with top quality, top versatility, at the best price. So what we're going to do in the next few minutes is walk through the new LEPX technology, show you how the press works end to end, and talk about all the value that the HP Indigo V12 Digital Press can add to labels and packaging. With me today is Mati. Mati, do you want to introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Mati Zilberberg and I manage the system engineering of the HP Indigo V12 Digital Press. Today I'm going to walk you through the press and show you all the goodies that we have designed here. Your team's done a wonderful job, award-winning press already. We, we recently won, just two days ago, the Drupa Award EED for best label press over 50 meters per minute. So we're very excited about the new technology. And Mati, thank you for joining me. My name is Brian Cleary. I'm the sales specialist for V12 in North America. And thank you all for joining us. Now we got to start with roll to roll web fed. We've got 13 inch or 330 millimeter. Tell you about the, the, the format, the width of the format. Yes. Yeah. It's, a, it's a 340 millimeters. Yeah. 340. Yeah, exactly. So. This press prints really fast 120 meters per minute. Here we have a non-stop unwinder designed by AB Graphics. It switches automatically between the rolls. So the loading here is done automatically. It saves about 10 minutes per hour. 10 minutes in 120 meters per minute, it's a lot. So the non-stop unwinder allows for continuous production, continual print at 120 meters per minute? Yes, exactly. Excellent. Now, once the web is fed into the press, one of the main benefits of Indigo print technology, LEP and LEPX, is our ability to print on any material. We're talking half mil unsupported film, up to 18 point board, and all types of media in between. Uncoated and coated papers, synthetics, films, pressure sensitive, and look how we do it. I'll just open this door. Here we have an inline priming system. It primes the media. So as Brian mentioned, we can virtually print on any type of media, paper, synthetics, metallized, you name it, we can print on it. That gives us the versatility. This is a different priming system to keep up with the speed of the V12. It's a wonderful design. It's an aqueous water-based primer from our friends at Michaelman and it allows perfect adhesion of ink to any of the substrates that we've discussed. Yes, exactly. And from there, it goes into our quality control cabinet. What happens there, Money? Okay, let's open this door. This is the quality assurance arena, as we call it. It contains scanners, inline scanners, and inline spectrophotometers. We scan what we print make sure that everything intact, everything is well. We correct the color, small correction, while the press is still printing, and maintain the color within specs. That saves media, and it makes matching color easy. We have a system called Spotmaster, which allows us to input the lab values of a specific color. The press will create iterations of that color and pick the best one using the inline color spectrophotometer. It'll create a virtual spot color separation it will create color bars for that spot, up to nine of them. It will monitor those spot colors during the run, make adjustments to the press. And at the end, there's a report that you can get to outline the, the quality and the consistency of the color, which you then can deliver to your customer to prove that the entire run length has consistent spot colors that the customer demands. Yeah. 
So what about the printing engine? Would you like to see it? Yeah, let's let's see the printing engine and let's talk about the components. Okay. Max. Can we get the okay. uh, engine raised, please? Thank you. Okay, so this door is about to open. Here's the printing engine. So what you're about to see is that we are we're actually moved from centralized architecture to a serial one. You can see here we placed six printing engines, one next to the other. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So each one of them print one color on the blanket. I'll show you the blanket in a minute. You can see the trajectory, the lighted trajectory of the blanket. The blanket collects color, one color from each station, accumulate it, and then deliver it to the media. And you can see the printing speed over here. This is 120 meters per minute. Monty, are you saying we can image six color separations at the same time, pick them all up and transfer them and print at 120 meters per minute? Exactly. This is what we do. Now, this isn't an evolution of indigo technology. It's really a revolution. Yes. Because what we have is some new components. Do you want to talk about those? OK. So to enable this kind of technology, we had to design several new components. First of them is the digital plate. This is a cylinder. We call it ACID. It stands for amorphous silicon drum. Its lifespan is 1 million meters of printing. So replacement rate will be once a month. That's great. And the print quality, because of the drum, is going to remain consistent throughout its life as well. Yeah, exactly. So, so in order to write on this drum, we've developed this writing head based on LED technology, 21,000 LEDs, 1,600 DPI resolution. 1,600 DPI. That's yeah. higher than our previous versions of LEP. Yeah. Are you going to see a major improvement in print quality, or is it a step forward? Well, let me tell you something, Brian. Brian. For most of the labels, you won't need more than 800 DPI. You won't see the difference. This writing can enable us to do further applications like small tags, security, and other stuff. All in indigo quality. So if you have an indigo press, you know about indigo quality, LEPX is just taking that to the next level of speed. Now, talking about the blanket, you can see my colleagues here. This is the blanket. It's actually blanket belt. You can see its trajectory inside the press. It's about five and a half meters long. And its lifespan is 25,000 meters of printing, meaning replacement every week. Mari, this is a big press. That's a big blanket. Can one operator operate the press and change the blanket? Well, this press is a one operator press. The blanket can be replaced only by one, by one operator, and it takes maximum five minutes. And color calibrations? Color calibration, it's, we'll do it before printing, it's nothing. We do it also during printing. While the press is print, we correct it, we call it continuous color calibration. We print the, on the margins of the media, we print small targets, and we detect and control the color consistency, consistency while the press is still printing. So with a big press like this, and a blanket with one operator, there needs to be a, a great user experience, and your team has delivered one. Do you want to talk about that for a moment? Yeah, and this press, we actually designed a completely new user experience. You can see it on the blue screens over there. This is the major operator. Uh, uh, position there, but there are additional two screens across the press that, com that control the press completely, so the operator can do all he needs from any position he is around the press. The operator gets full status of the press and the full information at each one of the screens and can fully control it. Exactly. Yes. It's easy to use too, isn't it? Yeah, it's very easy to use and you get the full picture from everywhere it stands. Compared to learning flexography and becoming a skilled flexo operator, this press, we can train operators in two weeks how to operate the B12, and they don't necessarily need flexo or print experience. Exactly. All right, so let's move on to the inks. This is, uh, again, with, with LEPX, we haven't changed everything. In fact, the bids, the binary imaging developers, 
are the same as you will find in our Series 3, and the inks that Mati will show you are the same inks that you'll find in the 200K, excuse me, the 200K flexible packaging press, as well as the 35K folding carton press. Why don't you explain our ink setup and how and why people might need 12, 12 colors. Please let us know. Well, this is the ink utility cabinet. Here we have 12 positions for different, 12 different inks. The, the idea is here is that the, this press is non-stop printing press. We have here revolvers that revolve the ink and input a new can while the previous one is empty. It's, it's all done while the press is still printing. Again, again non-stop printing. So we have here 12 positions for inks. It enables us actually, you know, to, uh, to set two or three different sets of ink for different jobs and move from ink to ink without any setup time. Now, HP Indigo has the widest range of digital inks in the business. We have CMYK, obviously. We have a premium white ink that's opaque, and you can apply multiple hits of our white ink to adjust the opaqueness. We also have a range of exclusive digital inks, including fluorescent, invisible, and more. Silver ink, for example. So if you're looking for specialty applications to add value to labels, you can do that with HP Electro Ink and our special inks. You can even run spot colors on this press. So if your customer demands that their brand color be in a solid, you can get a spot color and run it in the press. And you know, Brian, we're using 120 meters per, per minute up to six ink. But from the seventh ink to the 12th, and the blanket will have to do a second rotation here inside the engine and the printing speed will be 60 minutes per minute. Let me see if I understand. So we've got six imaging stations. Each supports two inks. If you need to pick up both inks from any station, the blanket has to go around twice. So seven to 12 colors, two or three. Yeah, but you know, more than 90% of the, of the jobs around here are six inks or less. So most of the jobs will be in 120 minutes. That, that's amazing. You want to talk a little bit, once we're done putting ink on the web, what happens at the unwinder and then how we convert these labels. Yeah, okay, so here on the other end, there is the non-stop unwinding. You can go and uh, take a picture of the media running here. Again, designed by AP Graphics, so it switches automatically between completed roll, printed roll, and a new core. So. Automatic switch of media, automatic switch of ink. This press is a non-stop printing press in 120 meters per minute. A productivity machine, a productivity exactly. monster. It allows converters to address any run line of label job profitably at the highest quality on the media that your customers need and want. Let's talk about converting. We have, a, we have a big roll of printed labels. How do we get them into individual roll labels? Well, you would expect in this printing speed, you will need a fleet of converters, fleet of finishing presses to, to, to deal with the outputs. But here, here are colleagues from AP Graphics on the Digicom over there. Hello, how are you? What speed are you running? Okay, it can print, it can actually run in 180 meters per sec, per minute, sorry, 180 meters per minute. And right now you can see it started to, to run faster and faster, it will be 170. Okay, so one finishing machine like this can cope with one press, with one V12 press. A one-to-one -one ratio, exactly. If you'd like to learn more about ABG Digicon Series 3 or their fast track die cutting system that allows it to convert labels at 120 meters per minute, please visit the AB Graphic booth or just visit our friends here that are in our booth and ask them about the finishing equipment. So Mati, it's time to sum up. This yeah. award winning press is now available. If you'd like one, we can get you a contract. Just let us know. But what it's going to allow is our label converting customers around the world, if they choose to do so, to move away from analog production and move towards all digital production. In other words, all digital labels, all with a consistent color, all with a consistent media, giving you ultimate flexibility to address any label job run length profitably. And that's the key.
it's a yes machine. You're going to be able to run on any media. You're going to be able to print with any color you like and be able to match your and exceed your customers' expectations and drive your top and bottom line. This is going to be a game changer. You can get in front of it or you can be behind it. So if, if you'd like more information about the HP and Brian, the uh, like a more in-depth demonstration, or if you just have a question or two, please ask Mati, I, or anyone with an the HP lanyard badge, and we'll be happy to answer your questions. So next, what we have is a demonstration of the HP Indigo 6K digital press. This is our short run, top quality, top versatility press that allows profitable short runs. It's a great companion to the V12, and my companion, Roy, he's going to take over, and he's going to show you the HP Indigo 6K Digital Press. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your time. Please join Roy over at the HP Indigo 6K. If you have questions about the V12, please come on up. Thank you all. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the show.